If your life is boring, that means you got no stress. That means that means you got no problems. So I want a boring life now. My boring life is like I go outside and I look at my lawn and I play with my kids. And, you know, like I said, my wife can pick up my phone. I'm not worried about what she finds, like all these different things. I really, really embrace a boring life. And maybe that's because over the years, the dopamine has rewired to say, okay, he's finding more pleasure in long-term things like family and love and emotional connection versus the very ephemeral, you know, I got to get a fix right now. I got to get a hit right now, or I got to try to hook up right now. What's wrong with being boring? Nothing. I think we got to define the word boring. What's the definition of boring? And it says not interesting and tedious. So I would actually submit that boring is not the most effective word, although we can use the word boring with a slight grin on our face, like to yeah. demonstrate the meaning of what we're saying. So I have yeah. a lack of drama. I have no drama in my life. And sometimes I tell my wife, I'm like, you know what? I have no drama in my life. And that's such an amazing thing. But I, I remember back in my life when I would have, I'd be texting five or six girls at one time and I'd be lying about this thing. And I'd be trying to, I would change this date to do that instead. And I would try to like do this thing. And that drama I felt was exciting. Now, yeah. obviously I have none of that. The reason people find that exciting is because it literally fires off dopamine receptors in the brain. People become addicted to it to the point where they feel dead if they don't have drama. Also it fires off cortisol and a lot of other bad hormones. And these things kill you just as much as a bad diet does. So when you have a bunch of cortisol and stress and norepinephrine in your blood, it's not good as well. But we think that's exciting and we think that's pleasurable, but really it's just chaotic and wild. I mean, when I was drinking and driving, I got three DUIs. I mean, I, I'm so grateful now I didn't hurt myself or somebody else. But at the time I'm like, man, I'm driving drunk. That's crazy. Yeah. It's ridiculous. I must admit years later now, I used to leave the Jones Bar on Santa Monica Boulevard in, in Hollywood. And I would drive my 1990 Chevy Corsica car from the bar back home around midnight, 1230. And I, after having only like a few drinks, and I used to think I'm fine with a few drinks. And when I grew up in Australia, the legal driving drinking limit for driving was 0.05. But in California, it was 0.08. Mm. And because I had 0.08, which is all, you know, towards double of what it is in Australia, I thought, oh, I can have another drink. I tell you, I was, I, I'm sure I went through a couple of red lights or I remember going through a couple of red lights because I didn't want to wait yeah. because I'd had a few drinks in me. And I feel terrible about that now. Yeah. Thankfully, nothing happened. I remember pulling into the Carl's Jr. Burger drive through at 1230 on the corner of Santa Monica Boulevard and, and La Cienega or, or La Brea, I think it was and getting burgers and trying to eat the burger and fries yeah. while I'm driving home with one wheel, one hand on the steering wheel, trying to get back to my place on the corner of DeLong, Prey and Highland. I had to be over 0.08. I had to be. Yeah. I'm so fortunate nothing terrible happened.